and welcome to my another video on how to install docker on ubuntu arm 64 architecture i have now ubuntu installed on my macbook pro with m1 chipset which is the new generation and the ARM64 architecture. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use Docker on Ubuntu. If you have already watched my previous video on how to install Ubuntu ARM64 on MacBook Pro M1 chipset, then you're good to go. If not, you can refer to my previous video and watch my previous videos about how to install Ubuntu ARM64 hypervisor on MacBook Pro M1. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, we're going to go ahead and type for terminal or you can go ahead and find it by scrolling down to the next page and click on terminal. Once you're there, what you have to do is basically type Docker to find out whether you have already installed Docker or not. So then press enter. And as you can see, we don't have Docker installed on our system and what I'm going to do is now to install docker I have two options as you can see here we have the option to type sudo snap install docker and get the latest version of docker or you can use this sudo apt install docker io so I'm going to select the first command line which is sudo snap install docker and then i will press enter it's going to ask your password or your root password for the specific user which is selected and we're gonna press enter again and if you going to get the following error message all you have to do is type sudo snap refresh and then press enter and what is going to do is basically download snap and install it on our system okay and now that the refresh process is finished we're gonna go ahead and install docker on our server so we're going to type in sudo snap install docker and we're going to press enter. So we have to wait until docker is going to be installed on our system. And then from there, we're going to continue with setting up docker. Great, now that we have successfully installed Docker, we're gonna go ahead and check if Docker was successfully installed by confirming it doing the following command, Docker version and enter. And as you can see, Docker is installed successfully. So next, what we're going to do is to make sure whether Docker is running on our server. To do that, all we have to do is type the following command line to find out whether the Docker is enabled or in other words, is Docker running on server or not. We're going to use the following command line sudo system restart snap docker dot docker dot service 
and then we're gonna go ahead and type sudo sorry my bad sudo systemctl status to, to check whether our docker is running or not as I can see here it's active and running now that we have successfully checked that the docker is running on our system we're gonna exit the screen by holding the control and C key in order to find out whether we can download and communicate with the docker hub so basically docker hub is a website or a repository which you can download different images such as mysql ubuntu and many more images so what we can do we can use the hello world image on docker by typing sudo run docker and hello world and then we're gonna type we're gonna use the enter it's gonna ask for our password we're gonna enter the password and press enter again and I realized that I have typed the wrong command. So I have to type sudo docker run followed by hello world. And then I will press enter. And as you can see now, because the server was unable to find the image, is gonna go ahead and pull the hello world image from the docker hub and as you can see it has downloaded the newer version of the image if you want to see all the images that we have downloaded we can use the following command so do docker images and then press enter and as you can see we have the hello world repository downloaded on our system thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that you learned something from this video if you did so please like and subscribe to the channel and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Thank you.